Hi, my name is Mia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can already tell by the title and just as promised in my last vlog, today I will show you our puppy haul, all the eco-friendly things that we bought to get ready for our dog who is coming in just four days now. And yeah, a little backstory. The, getting a dog was a really, really spontaneous decision for us. We just decided about a month ago that we wanted to get a dog and it just so happened that the perfect puppy came along. We're getting a little whippet boy. He was born on my birthday on the 17th of February, so it really feels like it was meant to be. But yeah, so ever since then I have scoured the internet of things that we might need for this puppy. And yeah, if you're in a similar situation now, then I hope this video helps you. Or maybe you're just looking for inspiration for more eco-friendly dog or pet supplies as I'm sure some of these things could also apply to, to cats and other pets. We obviously want nothing but the best for our little puppy, but we also want to have as little of an impact on our earth as possible and want to cause as little harm to other animals that we share this earth with. So yeah, that's kind of the philosophy that we live our own life by. And um, yeah, also because we already think of this puppy as our child. We have bought all of these things with the same kind of mindset as we would go out purchasing for ourselves or for a human baby. So yeah, I've talked enough and <laughs> the intro has been long enough, so without further ado, let's head into the first and longest category, which is all about hygiene. All right, number one on the list of hygiene items is a brush. Um, we just found this in a local store. We liked it, wooden with natural bristles. And we kind of like that this gets you a little bit closer to your dog instead of like a brush with a handle on it. Next up, we have some natural toothpaste and some bamboo toothbrushes. We use bamboo toothbrushes ourselves. So of course we got them for our puppy as well because we want our dog to live as happy and healthy and as long as he possibly can. Next up we have some sunscreen. This isn't particularly eco-friendly but we found it in a store and since we currently live in southern Spain and the sun is out all the time we don't want him to get burned so sunscreen is a must for us here. Also, because we plan on taking him on lots and lots of walks, we got him this little paw soothing balm, um, just so his little paws don't get cracked and all dry. Um, yeah, that way he can stay moisturized and happy. And the next hygiene item would be shampoo. This one is, again, just a natural dog shampoo. This is liquid. We also bought another shampoo bar that I found later on. Unfortunately, otherwise I would have probably skipped on this. But yeah, again, just making sure that he doesn't get any harmful chemicals or anything bad on his skin. And the shampoo bar that I ordered on top of this has unfortunately not arrived yet. We're still waiting on a couple of things here um, because the Spanish postal service is not very fast and not very reliable. But yeah, the shampoo bar also has some flea repellent in it because that's a pretty big concern here in southern Spain. Um, dogs can get pretty sick from them. And on the same note as the flea treatment, we also got him this little flea repellent collar. Um, now that he's still puppy, he's still a little too young for this, but we bought it anyways because we will definitely be needing it later on. We just want to make sure that he's as safe as he can possibly be. And along with his shampoo, we of course also need a towel for him. We didn't specifically go out and buy a new towel. This is just one that we already own and that we now designate it to be his towel. Next up is all about potty training and going potty in general. Um, for inside the house, we got this natural um, potty pad. It is made with um, these bamboo fibers and um, yeah it's reusable it's antimicrobial so he can go pee on here over and over again he can also go number two on here and you can just pick it up with the bags um, i also found out about like little washable reusable pee pads um, those would also be a great more eco-friendly alternative but if you are also getting a puppy or you have a sick dog, an elderly dog, or um, you 
are sick and cannot take your dog out at the moment, then this is a great, more eco-friendly alternative for sure. And along with uh, the potty pad, we also got a lot of poop bags. Um, we just went with the biggest pack that we could find of some like eco-friendly um, bags for him. And lastly, this one's kind of like um, an unnecessary and luxury item, um, but I saw it and I couldn't resist. It's this poop scooper. So it's basically this little plastic and silicone scoop that you can just wrap a poop bag around and then you can just scoop it up um, in here and yeah you just don't have to get your hands dirty I know they wouldn't really get dirty but that way you don't have to feel the warm poop um, we're gonna be first time dog owners so this is definitely um, gonna make the transition into being dog parents a little bit easier to not get too close <laughs> with his poop and other important items that are not dog specific but things that we do have around the house already or things that we did buy or are planning to buy um, specifically because we are getting a dog are for one um, this lint roller it is a zero waste lint roller and it has these two sides to it um, one for like bigger um, yeah, lint and one just for little fuzz. Um, I found that it works great. I haven't tried it on dog hair yet, but I've seen great reviews on this. And yeah, now that we are getting a dog that has very short hair, but does have hair, we are expecting to get a lot of use out of this. And also along with that, we are planning on purchasing a vacuum cleaner. We have personally never needed one up to this point. But again, with now there being a lot of dog hair around, we do plan on purchasing one, but we haven't done that just yet. We're still looking to find one maybe secondhand available somewhere to save a little bit of money. And lastly, this is also not dog specific, but our dog will definitely benefit from this. Um, we are only using natural, non-toxic, chemical-free, cleaners around the house um, so this is just an example of a little tablet that you put in a reusable bottle along with some water and then we just wipe it down with these cotton cloths and we also use eco-friendly again non-toxic zero waste um, laundry detergent and yeah we have been using this for years now so it's not something we got specifically for him but our dog will definitely benefit from it um, just so he's not exposed to any any harmful chemicals and that's all for the first category next up will be all about play all the items we got for him to play with up first we have this coffee wood stick um, coffee wood is just a very soft wood that doesn't leave any splinters or anything behind so if he does chew it it'll more or less dissolve and it won't hurt him if he does extra accidentally swallow some of it of course, he needs something to chew on for his little puppy teeth. And we just decided to go with wood rather than some like plastic or animal bone. Also for him, we got this little hemp rope again with the same thoughts in mind of if he does accidentally ingest some of this hemp, it will not hurt him. And yeah, we can just play, play tug of war with him. Um, with this rope and we opted for the smaller version of course because he is still just a very little puppy Of course, we had to get him a ball as well. This one is made from natural rubber um, So we'll see how he likes it and The last thing in the play category would be his little um, rumble so basically this combines food and play. You can put either his entire meal in here or just some treats and then he has to like tumble it over to get his food out. It just kind of combines a little bit of like a puzzle for his brain, also like a little bit of play. And of course food, this also makes for a great slow feeder, <laughs> but um, yeah, still in the toy category. 
but we're moving on to food next. For his food and water, we got him these identical stainless steel bowls. Um, we just figured, yeah, slow feeder is good for food and water, just so he cannot chug too much down at once and it's easier on his tummy. Um, for water, we are gonna, yeah, basically give him the same water that we drink out of a Berkey filter, just so he has good, clean water and we do not buy any kind of plastic water bottles. To store his food in, um, we bought a food storage container by a company called Hubi. Unfortunately, it has not arrived yet, but fingers crossed that it still will because it does get really, really humid here and we don't want his food to go bad from all the moisture in the air. So we made sure to buy a proper container for it. Um, it comes with a measuring cup as well, so that's pretty handy. And yeah, now it just has to get here. <laughs> Um, on the topic of food storage, we also have already had these little stasher bags, they're silicone bags. This one we thought would be great just to take like some treats or a little portion of food on the go. And this one, like a proper um, one day worth of food for him. If we ever go anywhere on like a day trip or something, we can just um, store it in these little bags. Now on to his actual food, what he will be consuming. Um, this of course is very individual to every dog. Not every dog um, yeah, can digest the same things and not every dog likes the same food. So we have done a lot of research and we really just hope that our dog likes it. Um, we went with... <laughs> we went with this company called Pooch and Mud and yeah, they just have... Um, human grade food it's responsibly sourced and um, yeah it's a complete puppy food like I said we do hope he likes it um, we think it's really healthy for him but only time will tell as his treats we got these two one is specifically for puppies and this one is like a soft duck snack which would also be good for for a little puppy um, you might have already seen these in our last vlog where we went to visit him for the first time and he was not a fan of these so we'll see maybe he just wasn't hungry at the time or he was still scared because um, he didn't know us yet or maybe he actually just is not a fan of these so we'll see about that again next up we have these little dental sticks they are made from um, plants only so no animal products are in these and again we just hope that it'll keep him nice and busy that it's fun for him to chew on but also keeps his teeth extra fresh and lastly on the topic of health we couldn't walk past these um, multivitamins and mineral soft chews for him um, again we just want him to grow to be a really really healthy and happy dog and we also bought him these calming gummies. Yeah, we bought those before we went to see him for the first time. It turns out our dog is already very calm, shy and timid, very reserved. So we might not even need these, um, but whippets do tend to be anxious. So we just made sure to have them ready just in case um, for any kind of separation anxiety or discomfort or sleep issues that he might encounter especially in the first few days of being in a new environment and away from his brother and his mom so yeah these are what we got and that is it on the topic of food next up we have wearables and and this one's a pretty short category um, we bought him two identical harnesses one that will hopefully fit him now that he's still a puppy and then a bigger one that he will grow into once he's fully grown um but yeah we went with these rougher harnesses we've heard great things about them in terms of um whippets because whippets do have very very thin heads so they tend to slide out of collars and other harnesses and apparently these three strap ones work well for them we did try to find this exact model secondhand, but they um, just didn't have it. So yeah, if you have more time ahead of getting your puppy, then it's definitely worth looking for more secondhand items, but we did not have that kind of time. 
On here, we also have a little air tag holder and an air tag because of course we don't want our dog chasing after a duck or a rabbit or any other little prey because he is a sighthound, so it is in his DNA. So if he does escape us, we want to be able to find him again. And lastly, we have this lead. We just went with one by Ruffer as well, since we were already on their website. Um, this one has some little reflective cord woven into it um, for some extra visibility in the dark. So yeah, it seems pretty sturdy, pretty good quality. So hopefully these will be the only lead and only harnesses we'll have to buy for our dog. Um, the other thing that we will keep in mind when it comes to um, owning a Whippet is that they do not have a lot of body fat and they do tend to get cold easily. So we are looking to still purchase some sort of like warmth or rain protection for him, um, but that'll be closer to winter time because we do live in southern Spain. It is very much warm already and it'll be hot for the next few months. So that's not something that we are immediately worried about purchasing, but if you live somewhere colder and you have a naked dog, a short haired dog, a very skinny dog, then that is definitely something to consider buying already. And the last category is all about living and traveling with this dog. And unfortunately, I do not have much to show for it yet. Um, his things were supposed to arrive on Friday, but like I said, the Spanish postal service is not very reliable. And so things are stuck in customs. Things are just, I don't know, floating around in the abyss. Um, and on top of that, right now we're in the middle of Semana Santa, so I'm not expecting those to get here. But hopefully, maybe they will make it here on Monday on the same day as we get our dog. But we have bought him a little bed, of course. Um, we bought him one made from hemp fiber with a hemp and linen um, cover for it. Again, just keeping it natural and um, yeah safe for our pet. I like that it has a removable cover, that way we can wash it regularly for him so it doesn't get all nasty. And like I said, whippets are very skinny and get very cold, so we have a little blanket for him, a little fluffy, cuddly blanket. We did already own this, um, so that was not a purchase that we made right now. Um, but yeah, again, something to keep in mind if you live somewhere colder or you have a dog that appreciates warm cuddly things we are very happily giving this to our dog so yeah he can just be very cozy and very warm we also bought him a crate if you watched my vlog then you may be wondering why the crate that you saw in the background is not here right now but after seeing him and seeing just how tiny his mom really was just made us realize that the crate that we bought was too big so we returned it and we have ordered a crate in the right size for him and yeah again it was supposed to be here already it hasn't yet we have also tried to find a second hand crate but there was just none in the right size available near us so that's where we're at and very last the very last item is these and i know i mentioned eco-friendly Dog supplies and this one's very much the opposite. Unfortunately, I bought this before I found out about the washable ones, but I figured for traveling, these ones might come in handy because we cannot take the big coconut fiber one, of course. Um, that's not very portable. Well, these ones are just for flights and car rides, and yeah, that way he can go potty and we can dispose of it afterwards. So yeah. Again, I would not recommend this. I would recommend you look into washable ones, but this is what we have now and hopefully it serves its purpose well. And that is all I have for you today. I'm sure you're wondering how much we ended up spending in total already. Like I said, some of the things we already own, so I have not counted these in yet and some things we have not purchased yet. So that will add on top of this price. But as of right now, all the things that you've seen, we have already spent $780, which is a lot. But like I said, he is our baby, so he deserves nothing but the best. Um, just, 
I guess this is important to keep in mind when you are looking to get a pet, just know that it's not just the cost of the pet, but um, all of the things can add up quite quickly. So yeah, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, then make sure to leave me a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Um, of course, the next one is gonna be of our puppy coming home, his first day with us, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.